I'm here for your entertainment ladies and gentle bitches. The two fat guys on the internet. Dan Pantzig. And Tony Schultz. Ah, yeah. It's the two fat guys on the internet. It's me, Dan Pantzig, and the other guy on the internet is Tony Schultz. Well, one for the weed and a two for the weed and a three for the weed and a four for the weed and a five for the weed and a six for the weed and a seven for the weed and an eight for the weed and well a nine for the weed a ten for the fucking weed. Well, it's eleven my, for the lead and a twelve for the weed. Well, a thirteen for the weed, a fourteen for the weed, a fifteen for the weed, a sixteen for the weed. Well, a eighteen for the weed, cause we just skipped seventeen. <gasps> oh, so it's so my, it's not, Dan. It's my favorite fucking song, Tone. God, I love that one. They call it they call it sixty nine for the weed. If you ever get that far. I'm nothing but a big piece of shit. Big fat piece. Of shit. It's on Spotify. We don't have a robot. Um, we're giving our boy a small opportunity. He's been waiting for his entire life. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get into it exactly this episode, but the one thing he's wanted since the show has started, he may have his opportunity to get. Nani? What's that, that World War Three? That's to quit the show. Oh, they're about to leave forever. We, we may be giving him the opportunity to, to, to travel once more around the world to only talk to us when he wants to, if he wants to ever. Well, to send us postcards, physical postcards. Actual mail. physical mail in the snail Euler mail. Yes, that's, that's, it's, it's in the air. He's been talking about it. Each one grundled is the last. It's so much Robo Grundle, you, you, the likes of which you've never seen. He wipes it on his Grundle. He has a Grundle. That's that's really the most amazing part. <laughs> Speaking of Grundles, Dan. Oh please. What if they made gum, but for your ass? Gum for your ass? Yeah, ass gum. You ass know, gum, keep, like keep your ass busy. Like you could chew with your bum. Chew the gum with your bum. <laughs> gum for your bum, would we tell? Uh, I, I, now, me, personally, I've never really chewed with my ass before. I've, I've vomited and pissed from my ass before, but I've never chewed with the ass. It might how's be funny. How does that go, Tone? How does that work? Well, I would say you probably need to pre-chew it, like, in your mouth, and then, you know, use your thumb and hork it up there, and then gets to chewing with your ass. I mean, it should be natural enough. I suppose. Uh, we'll have to reach out to the good people at CVS and see if that's something they're uh, willing to invest in. There's, there's actually something I need to look up right now, Tone. Give us, give us a little, give us a little mouth song while I'm looking this up. This is a song dedicated to my mouth. Well, baby, you are the thing that sounds come out of. Baby, you are the thing that makes me snore at night and need a bipap. Oh, Mr. Mouth, your two lips are so luscious and beautiful and so Tone, I've shaped. got good news. What, what do we got here, Dan? I just Googled, can you taste with your butthole? Okay. And yes, taste buds do exist in the rectum. <gasps> they are oh, a you... nerve called gustatory receptor cells, and they are responsible for detecting different flavors. Tone! Ass gum! Let's do this! Hell yes. Calling CBS as soon as we're done with this dumb podcast. Thames Woodcook is going to be so pleased with this new product. Love to hear it. Oh, we're going to be raking in the ass gum bucks, baby. Now, what what would your preferred flavor of ass gum be yourself? That's, yeah, see, now that I know there's flavor reception in the ass, uh, oh, that's yeah. a good this, question. Oh, this opens up a whole new world of ass gum, Tone. I mean, there's the obvious mint or, you know, winter green. Those. Right. But then, you know, there's gravy. You want gravy. it to be fresh up there. You want it to be minty fresh up in that cavity. Yeah, in case a dog comes by and wants to lick your ass. Or in case you have a very uh, freaky partner. Aww. That wants to lick your ass. That wants to taste your bunghole. 
Yeah, I would. I'd, contained within. <laughs> I'd probably lean towards the mint. Maybe a raspberry mint to treat yourself. I'd go sour blue raspberry. It definitely should be sour. There should be sour ass gum. If you want, if you want your butthole to kind of tingle in a different sort of direction, <laughs> then the liquor can pucker just like the butt. That's exactly correct. The butt sour puckers. ass gum makes your face as sour as an actual ass. We'll work on it. And then it shows just a giant prolapse coming out of a cartoon butthole. Yeah. As and then the commercial that will exist for this soon. In two minutes. Yeah, exactly. I can't talk anymore. I'm working on the commercial. Well, you better you better fucking put that shit out, man. We, we need the money. God damn it. A British man walks into a pub. The pubman says, Hey, British man. Would you like a dark or a regular lager? Well, the British man thought to himself for a while, and it sounded something like this. What are you gonna do? 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 The British man ordered the dark lager. The end. But it beats watching two fat guys. Well, that brings us to a segment where we like to talk about shit that happens to you at work. Stories. Tales. Adventures. Such is the life at Wally. Wally World. This is for you. That's a fine theme song, Tone. It's a fine theme song. It is good. I got a note here. I'm sure you have some notes. uh, Yeah, give me that note while I pull up my other Facebook notes. It's from probably a while ago, but it's a small child assaults Dan with attempted hug. Oh, yeah, man. So this little kid, like, I'm, 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 I'm coming from, like, my break or punching in or something from the back of the store through the clothing department uh, to the cell checkout, and... I'm trying to get past these two people, and this kid just runs up, and he's fucking trying to, like, just, just, I I don't know at first, and I'm backing up, and I'm like, no, please, no, 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 and his mom's like, get your ass back here, come on, I told you not to do that no more, get the the fuck back here, and this kid just, like, grabs onto my leg, and he's hugging me, and I'm like, please, no, I I, know I don't want this, and the mom's screaming at him to come back, and eventually pries him off of me, and holy shit, man, Uh, but dude, I get, I get, I get hit by little kids, all the fucking time or just touched by little kids all the goddamn time man something i haven't talked about much on the internet but i don't really like when that happens and the parents just seem to be like oh well (laughs) that's not your favorite that's it's i would i would say it's in the in the in the pantheon of the least favorites uh the most the most unliked uh another one tone would be uh this one just happened a couple days ago uh, this old white guy, oops, I said he was white. Oh, sh- uh, we don't get a lot of white people in my Wally. That's why it's that's why it's weird when when they happen. So uh, this All guy right. is like pissed Bracker off. John comes in and continue. <laughs> and he's like this regular square ass looking old white fucking dude. And he yeah he, he comes up to me pretty calmly, but I can tell he's upset. He's like, do you do you have a way that you can call a manager over here to me? And I'm like, uh, not really, but, you know, customer service right over there. My supervisor, her name is Zemet, she'll be right there. You can talk to her and go up the chain from there if you need to. He's like, can you bring a net over here for me? And I'm like, I will do my best. Would you like fishing? And, <laughs> <laughs> and I go and I get, I get her and she's sick as fuck, which I didn't know. And I'm like, oh, oh shit, God damn it. I'm like, well, this guy's really pissed off. You can call somebody. She's like, I can't call anybody. And I'm like, fucking God damn it. Uh, so I go back over there and I'm like, somebody's going to page a manager for you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I see a few minutes later, because I go back to do it myself, check out work. See a few minutes later, he's still talking to the door lady, like, like, kind of like flailing his arms and being mad at him and, or being mad at her and whatnot. Finally gets to a manager, yells at her for a while. 
And I fucking go over to the door leader. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? He's, she's like, oh, the chicken's burned and they can't make new chicken yet. Oh. Man, and I'm like, like, this motherfucker's been here for 20 minutes yelling at various fucking people because of some fucking chicken. <laughs> like, Eat God another damn it. thing. <laughs> And then another. It is delicious. I, I'm not gonna take the Wally anything chicken, away. The Wally chicken is okay. The the buffalo wings at the fucking deli are goddamn outstanding. I, I suggest yeah. those to anybody who needs hot food from the Walmart. Those are worth wings. yelling about. Uh, they they are they're worth caring about. And nothing's worth yelling about in that bitch. <laughs> uh, the other square white guy that came up to me that very same day, only about an hour later, he 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 comes up to me. He's very weird. And he's like, uh, I have a question for you, and you don't have to answer me if you don't like to, but why are you still wearing a mask? Or why do you still have to wear a mask if the pandemic is over? And I say to him, well, sir, I don't have to. I want to. And he just kind of goes, eh, and turns, uh, runs, and walks away. Like, no real answer, just a bit of a mutter, because I fucking thwarted him. Uh, he had to rush to the internet, Dan, to post about it, his feelings about this, what this libtard, This libtard cuck still wearing a fucking mask at the Walmart, even though the... <laughs> The the, the, the the plandemic is way over. Yes, probably that sort of guy. I would. You know imagine. what's under this mask? Mind your goddamn business, motherfucker. Exactly, exactly, exactly. There's one I didn't post yet, so we'll we'll go for this as my last oh. tale today. Hell yeah, get it out, boys. So there is this lady. She comes up to me, and she's like, she's got like on the top part of the cart just a bunch of like dairy and grocery cold food items. And she's like, which of these can I get on WIC? And I'm like, I'd love to tell you, miss, but they don't really train us in them. That's between you and the government. She's like, I'm not asking the government. I'm asking you. Tell me which of these items I can get with WIC. And I'm like, I can't tell you that. We don't know. They're, we're not training that. She's like, you're supposed to know all that shit. I worked in retail. I was at Cub Foods for 20 years, and we knew all that. And I'm like, well, I'm very glad Cub Foods taught you then that. Then how do you not know that? They, they don't teach us that at the Walmart. No, no, her. If she was 20 years, how does she not know? Well, apparently at her store and every other store she's gone to, not really. They know that. Not really. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, she's getting pissed off at me. She she pulls aside a kid that doesn't even work in the cell checkout, and she's like, what? <laughs> and she just says, which one of these can I get? And the kid looks confused, and she <laughs> says, with Wick, what can I buy out of here with Wick? <laughs> the kid's looking at me, and I shrug, and he's like, I don't know. They they, they don't really tell us that. And she's like, y'all are supposed to know this shit. What the fuck? And blah, blah, blah. And like, she's getting more and more pissed off. I'm like, well, miss, they don't tell us that, so good luck. She goes to uh, Mr. Samuel Walton. She, she comes to my supervisor and starts yelling at her and one of my other coworkers, because they don't know either, and they're telling her the exact same things I just told her. There's an app, and we don't know that, between you and the government, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, fuck it! I'm going somewhere else! I don't want none of this shit! Throwing her stuff back in her fucking cart like a fucking crazy person. Fuck it! Fuck all y'all! You don't know the, you don't know shit! Blah, 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 blah. And she fucking storms out. I'm starting to fucking crack while this is happening. She's like, this motherfucker over here smirking at me! This ain't funny! Blah, 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 blah. And fucking runs out, and I'm like, oh god, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Actually, it's very funny. It was, it was very Jesus funny, Chris. You, you happen to be wrong on this one. <laughs> I'll get my uh, book it, out and a pen. And we'll go through step by step why this is hilarious, please. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Hit the music, Johnny! Such <laughs> is the life at Wally. Ooh, yeah. You love to Wally it. Well, I don't. I mean, I have to live through this shit, and it sucks, but does make for entertainment for the nice people. So, Dan, you've been, you've been keeping up on the sports? Tone, I would love to know what's in the news, but I have a feeling that there's going to be more music played right now. <laughs> uh, so, well, what's, what's, what's in the sports news, Tone? I'm asking you, man. It's your segment. How, which ball is your favorite? Foot? Basket? 
Uh, uh, hand. Handball is my favorite. Or racket. And it's been another... <laughs> top, top tier entertainment. You only get here on The Truth with Robert Harmony and <laughs> Super Jismin. That's me, Super Jismin, with the evening news. The Truth. Uh, what's in the news, though, Tone? I've been on the Queen Spinach lately, Dan. You ever try this stuff? <laughs> The queen's spinach in it. Even a little toe, yeah, are we? I had a curiosity recently while we were playing the game of worm. I would imagine that's usually yes. when all my best thoughts occur to me. And I was like, "What do British people call weed?" And I'm gonna relook it up now. And uh, a lot of well, them are the same. Where my mouth is going, and I'm singing by my mouth still. Here we go. It's two lips and some teeth. And there's a tongue right up in the middle. It kind of helps me make some noise. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. My mouth is the thing I can't afford. Because it was given free when I was born in this country. <laughs> All right, so... Almost universally, it's just called weed here. Some other words you will hear are a bunch of familiar ones. You know, dank, grass, trees, flowers. Mm-hmm. But then we have Let's things like cheddar. Let's get past Johnny Vanilla here and get to the real goods. But then we have cheddar. Ooh, I and, heard that one. And bu- uh, bags. Uh, here, and let me get, get, some, get some bags in it. Oh, that was awful. Oi. Oi, mate, let me get some bags in it. That's more Australian. Uh, Peng, P-E-N-G, Peng. Hmm. I got a machine that goes Peng. (laughs) It's the most expensive machine in all of the hospital. (laughs) Uh, Piff? Piff. Piff, P-I-F-F, Piff. Let me puff on some Piff in it, mate. Jesus, fuck. (laughs) Uh, Guarn. Guarn. G W A R N. Fucking Guarn, boys. <laughs> what Guarn? And, and my favorite that I had forgotten about until now, but Lethal Grizzle. Oh yeah, Lethal Grizzle, boys. Not it's... even Grizzle, not G R S T L E, G R I S T L E rather, but Grizzle, G R I Z Z L E, like a grizzle bear. Oh, not even grizzled. Just lethal grizzle. That's which, boy, I would love to tier. know the etymology of that one. So I'm going to look that up also real fast. Well, these two mouthies, the thing that goes when Dan is looking up some stuff. Here we go with ups and downs, and the show is still a show in progress. Seven years we've been doing this crap, and we still can't ever get it right. Here we go, all in the day, and sometimes, baby, we go at night. Unfortunately, Tone, I can't find where Lethal Grizzle originated from. All right, just start texting people in England. I'm going to, I, I only have a couple contacts there. I think it's the middle of the night there right now, so, uh... Yeah, uh, but the best <laughs> one is the one that I that, that, that I made up for our worm playing after that, which would be the Queen's Spinach. Yes, I, I enjoy it highly. I use it. I always get a chuckle from people who haven't heard the Queen's That's, Spinach. So well, you got to you gotta respect the Queen's Spinach. And uh, that brings us uh, to a point of intermission, I believe. Three dollars in your pocket, then what does it be? Well, the reckless one is getting a thirsty. Saunters on up to the wrestling, wrestling show to meet Al Snow, Snow and Little Warlock. Well, he rolls up in the place and develops a thirst. Grabs up the three, three ducats, ducats from him's man purse. Looking for a place that he can quench that shit and undry his mouth. Well, he looks around the corner and what does he see? A lit up vending machine just, just for Jimmy. Jimmy. He rushes right over to receive his boon. The soda he yearned for will be his soon. 
drops in his ducats, and much to his dismay, they took the money in, but it hasn't paid. Confused Jimmy looks deep in the hole, and out comes sixty nickels. This tale is told. Well, little Jimmy Nichols, what you gonna do? You're sixty nickels deep and still got no juice. You better get to shoving. You better get them in, cause the rest of the show is about to begin. Put the nickels in and out drops the juice. Now's the fucking time Jimmy Nichols gets loose. The way to the toilet opens up the door, smacks his freaking forearm and it gets real sore. Finally sits down, Nichols high as hell. Finds a seat, makes the first bell. The wrestling starts and he gets his pump on. Jimmy, Jimmy fucking, fucking Nichols sings the Judas song. Screamed at by kids and gets yelled at by men. Jimmy, Jimmy fucking, fucking Nichols looks for Nichols to spend. Tells lies, loves Nichols. I don't like this at all. Fuck. Dude, we are just the best at intermissions. We're so good at songs and shit, man. How do we do it every time? God damn. It fucks. It's hard being not humble because it's impossible to be humble when you come up with content that amazing. We are triple Z tier, God level, elder God level, premium, premium, the best boys in the land. As premium, and this sends us right into our next news. As a fine malted liquor. Oh my God! See, we, 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 we just, I used to be a malt liquors man, pretty pretty good back in the day. Yeah, used to, I, I used to ride the forty train a whole lot myself. We used to get dollars of dollar forties of laser. You had all the really good ones, man. It was, uh, it was all a bit before my time, unfortunately. The St. Ides and all the great shit. Yeah, that was in the hood. And then the, there was, yeah, like Silver Thunder was one. And uh, there, there was, what was the Indian one I'm trying to think of? Do you need to look it up? Do I need to do a mouth song? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me look it up. Well, he's gonna look up a thing on the internet, gonna do some typing and a looking at the screen, and he's gonna find out what the thing was that he was thinking about. Can he remember properly doing Oh, Crazy thing? Horse, that's it. Crazy Horse, that's, you can't have that today. <laughs> crazy, no, that's gone, yeah, that's a gone thing. And then I remember the advent of the 800 beers, where now your dollar fifty forty was worth two beers of alcohol. That's absolutely fucking true, man. Well, I think I shall put this banana and bread back and get me one more (laughs) forty lager beer. See, I was always on the uh, the King Cobra. Oh uh, yeah. The the OE the Colt all the classics because like yeah, the, 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 classics the, the, too. the shit you seen on MTV in the early nineties I was a little before my time so I wasn't drinking just yet the little Mickey's grenades those uh, Mickey's fucking... grenades were a favorite because you get to throw the bottle at the ground when you're done <laughs> like an actual ass grenade like an grenade they were and they make you fighting mad like an grenade. <sighs> Drink a fight and fight and drink and drink a fight and fight and then you do some queen spinach and then you are all right. That's exactly correct. That was many weekends at Century Park in Vernon Hills on the 40 train. Yeah, there was many weekends at many different places for many different years for this poor boy. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Lived through all the malt liquor. I still don't even hate it. I, like, get a taste for some fucking OE once in a while or some shit. Just a, a little hinty hint of the past. Yeah, I would I would get nostalgic for that every once in a while, but I ended up very much not liking it compared to just drinking vodka straight out of the bottle. <laughs> yeah, I moved there. I, wines as well. Bag wine is a good fucking get hammered for 15 bucks well yeah that's 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 more of a, a two fat guys on the internet recording institution right there oh yeah that was our building blocks was actual blocks of wine it were we built this respectable <laughs> program out of building block boxes of wine and if i may we built this program it's we a respectable it. program Built it out of boxes of white wine. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's falling apart before our very eyes. 
Everything's crumbling around us, but we just sit and play worms. That's right. Ah, uh, here's oh, another sh- note. Here's another note, Dan. It's in the damn news tone. So, Wolverine, you, you with the, me? The X-Men? Mr. Wolverine, man. The X-Men? Logan? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, but, right. yeah. combined with piss, so he's piss marine. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> I have the note. We must have discussed this at some point. <laughs> 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 Please don't expound on this reading if you don't mind. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, instead of adamantium, it's piss, right? So he's just got a piss coated skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> that when his claws come out, they first there's a torrent of piss that comes out with them. Yeah, it's, it comes out really strong at first, and then just and then, and then as he's slashing and hacking and berserkering away, there's this piss being flung it hither <laughs> and thither. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and his favorite drink, Tone. It's not beer or whiskey anymore. It's a hot piss. It's just it's some it's just more yellow hot piss. <laughs> oh, piss marine! You he, he and Vanilla Ice will team up and take over the world. <coughs> <laughs> You've done it again, Marvel. <laughs> no, again. we've done it again. <laughs> we oh, did, we did that. Marvel only kind of helped. We mostly did that. We did all the piss. We did do all the piss. That is, no one can take that away from us, Dan. Pay us for our piss. <laughs> If you want something and you want piss added to it, there are two. There's no two better people on this planet. We are readily available to take upon that task of covering the entire world in piss. See also semen. There will be some cum. I mean, that's just inevitable. It's, it's just gonna. It's gonna happen. It's gonna hither, happen. Hither and yon, pretty much all the time. What comes out the dick comes out the dick. And what goes in the ass gets chewed up as go. And then spit out the dick. This is our best episode ever, I'm feeling right now. I mean, it, might, it might be, Tony. It's, it's, <laughs> I think we're setting records. I think I, I got the makeup story site on here. You got that thing dialed up? I'm sorry, do what now? The makeup story site. The makeup story site. Oh, I suppose I could pull that shit back up if I could remember what it fucking was. Uh, give me some mouth music and we'll we'll see if I can find it. Well, these ass noises are coming out and you're gonna have to hear them and there ain't no drop because it's wet outside and the ground is oh, yeah, I found it. Found Hell it. yeah. That's quick. So let's see. Hero's name will be... Oh, Brick Dickelpiss? I'm doing Dick Flipley. Excellent. Heroes sex unspecified hero superpower uh, uh, uh sex no uh we got to go uh you did beams we did, you did beams of piss so i am going to do uh i'm going to go derivative and do beams of jizz Okay, yeah, see, exactly. Piss or Hero, jizz. Hero's hobby, uh, watching Alf. Hero's hometown, Buttsville, USA. Hero's home world, uh, Jupiter. Female Ooh. sidekick one, uh, Tits Magoo. Male Tits. sidekick one, Johnny... Tits. Johnny Lift, <laughs> female sidekick two, it's uh, McGee, Jenny Talia, male sidekick two, uh, Jimmy Meat Hash, there villain it is. is Tone Balone because I was your villain. The MacGuffin is uh, the Holy Bible. Uh, villain sex. I forgot to put in that part. Uh, you want to be male, female, or unspecified? There, Tom. Unspecified, good Under sir. Unspecificities. Relationships, any with any. 
Author's name is Serenity Dark Moon. That's fine. Author sex, unspecified intro. Sometimes we're clang we're clanging the violence all the way up. We're clanging the re ego all the way up. Sex rating all the way up. Cliche rating all the way up. And make my fucking story. Hit the button, Johnny. All right, my friends, here is 7.5, Return of Dick Flipley by Serenity Dark Moon Raven. My name is Serenity Dark Moon Raven. I was all alone wandering, wandering around in my own. My parents turned out to be Nazis, and I am a Jew, so I was all alone on the streets. As I, as I wandered down the forbidden streets, I found a leaflet on the floor. Come to Buttsville, USA. It is the best. You will find loads of new friends and understanding people. Maybe you'll even be crowned king. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd love to be king, so I set out for Buttsville, USA. I was very nervous. I had never gone to Buttsville, USA, and I wondered how they would treat me there. I arrived in Buttsville, USA, and waited for a hot air balloon to bring me to my new skyscraper. As I was waiting for a one to take me there, I saw, I think, a mysterious figure hiding in the shadows. It was as if he was looking at me. I, of course, ran towards him and said, What do you want? For you to die, said the mysterious figure. The mysterious figure said, and took out a knife, and with a flash came towards me. I grabbed him, of course, at his wrist, and twisted it until he dropped his knife, which I picked up, and with one swift motion, I stabbed and twisted the knife right from his stomach up to his ribs. When I was done with the assailant, I turned and looked straight into their eyes. They were so pretty and round, I delved right into them, like soaking, <laughs> a, like soaking in a comfortable batch of the bulge in his trousers were something to long forward to as well. The hair looked like the softest of velvet and encapsulated their face perfectly. I had completely forgotten the assailant. All I could think about was them. They looked perplexed and in awe at me. That was amazing. You have to teach me your moves sometimes. Who was that? I asked. It must have been one of Tone Balone's hedgemen, they said. Tone Balone, I gasped. I thought Tone Balone was defeated. So did we. So did we, said they. <laughs> when they leapt into the river, we were sure that he was dead, even though the body was never found. But who are you then? Oh my god, you're not! I gasped in asphyxiation. <laughs> it's true, they. I am no one else but Dick Flipley! I had dreamed to meet Dick Flipley at some point in my lifetime, but it was always a distant dream. One that when you wake up, all you remember is Dick Flipley's dreamy, dreamy eyes and wonderful complexion. It was such a dream that I never thought could become real, but here they was, right before me. I could never dream of meeting you, I said dreamily. Dick Flipley gre grinned sheepishly. Well, I had never thought of meeting such a great person as yourself. I blushed manly. Fucking hey, robots. they said, seeing as you are involved already, would you like to join me and the others to defeat Tone Balone for good? That sounds great. When do I start? Now, said Dick Flipley, and he led me towards the others, and they and there we started planning to defeat Tone Balone. <clears throat> A.N. Plez Review. I don't know what that means. Anyway, meanwhile, <laughs> Serenity Dark Moon Raven's mind was wandered back to the past. To the good old days, it was Tone Balone's Brit Mila party. <laughs> Whatever that might be. Queen Spinach was involved. <laughs> Which everyone was invited to. The party was awesome as always because Jimmy Meathash was hosting it. You love to see it. <laughs> Serenity Dark Moon Raven was pretty drunk that day. He already punched a bunch of people. Tone Malone a few times because they is stupid. Blood was spilled. But that was normal at this sort of party. As was the pile of bodies. If Serenity Dark Moon Raven was honest, he couldn't remember that much that happened. Only something about a guard, a goat, and a pair of scissors. There was one thing that stuck in his mind, though. <laughs> Something he would never forget. Dick Flipley. Ooh. Dick Flipley was wearing a Jimmy Meathash mask that night. It was a fancy dress party, after all. It was one of the most erotic costumes at the party. <laughs> Every everyone had come as someone else. No one could recognize anyone else because everyone had bits of their bodies covered. Serenity Dark Moon Raven was dressed as Tits Magoo! Tits Magoo was dressed as Jenny Talia! Jenny Talia was dressed as Dick Flipley! Dick, that was all capitalized. Excellent. Dick Flipley was dressed as Tone Balone, and Tone Balone was dressed as a balloon. 
<laughs> my standing <laughs> costume. Serenity Dark Moon Raven had no idea which person Dick Flipley was. At the top, they were strangers. They would never become much more. Serenity Dark Moon Raven was instantly attracted to Dick Flipley in him costume. The way he moved, the way he talked, the way he flicked his hair. Dick Flipley was doing a karaoke number. It was wannabe. If you want to be my lover, I get with my friends. And he was awesome. He sung like they were possessed. The audience was transfixed by Dick Flipley. Underwear was chucked at Dick Flipley. Ooh. <laughs> Serenity Dark Moon Raven was so turned on, and he didn't need that underwear anyway. In parenthetical, that was. Despite his crushing shyness and fear of people judging him, Serenity Dark Moon Raven got up and sang too. When Dick Flipley was singing Wannabe, it was like the words spoke directly to him. Dick Flipley seemed, seemed to be addressing each one of the songs just to him. The room faded away and it was just the two of them. No one else in the world. They gazed into each other's eyes as Dick Flipley put his soul into the last lyric. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> then silence. <laughs> Suddenly, Serenity Dark Moon Raven was woken out of the flashback by current events. My God, we almost there. Dick Flipley said after traveling for ages. Good grief! I didn't think we had journeyed this far. They sat down for a rest break. A rest break. And to plot their trajectory into the Evil One's HQ base. We must find that holy Bible. Well, I forgot all about that, said Dick Flipley, who was generally considered a moron. <laughs> so we all have <laughs> forgetting. Ha ha! Funny who? Funny H-U question mark. Ha ha! You remember now? Yes, good. Yes, good. God. Oh, geez. fuck. Stupid what? robots. <laughs> What happened next was so cool, you would like it a lot, basically. It went like this. Jesus. Only it was even cooler because I didn't have to write it. Fuck's sakes. <laughs> it was in my head. The words didn't get in the way, but by the way, excuse me if I skip words occasionally. It's to save me time. Okay, after they finished the phaser, they went to the base where the final battle started and they got there. Don't worry, the bad guy dies. Well, fucking spoiler, dickweed. <laughs> The next time they saw each other, Dick Flipley winked at Serenity Dark Moon Raven, remembering what happened at the party. Serenity Dark Moon Raven blushed. Some of the others giggled, did they know? Serenity Dark Moon Raven didn't care. Serenity Dark Moon Raven had signed before he had to do anything, so he decided to have another flashback. <laughs> <laughs> it was just after the karaoke, they had stepped off the stage to loud applause and were now looking at each other. Hi, Serenity Dark Moon Raven said meekly. Hey, Dick Flipley said also meekly. Their confidence from moments ago had evaporated like alcohol. Do you want to? Maybe. Okay, then. So they walked to the cloakroom. It wasn't long before their lips were together. Serenity Dark Moon Raven couldn't remember who made the first move. He did remember the taste, though. The taste of Dick Flipley. Ooh. Dick... <laughs> Dick Flipley tasted like red currant on a spring noon. That's, that doesn't sound <laughs> good. <laughs> Refreshing and salty, also a bit sour. What had what have they been eating? Sort of dark moon range. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, let me take that again. What have they been eating? Sort of dark moon raven tried to work it out. It took much tongue, T U N G, work. After a few minutes, mouth to mouth. Pot boiling. Dick Flippity guessed what Serenity Dark Moon Raven was doing. I had mango for lunch. Oh. You don't have to stop, though. Oh. Good. Serenity Dark Moon Raven said, with great relief. They finally drew away after what seemed like a whole eon, but was only mere minutes the taste of Dick Flippity's lips and other things. Still uh -huh. linked in Serenity Dark Moon Raven's mouth as they finally looked upon each other with new eyes. Relieved sighs came from both of them as they both embraced, Dick Flippity snuggling against Serenity Dark Moon Raven's neck as he snuggled up to Dick Flippity's torso. Dick Flippity went further by clutching Serenity Dark Moon Raven with his fingers pulling at the fabric of the slacks to feel what was underneath. The telltale shape in his leggings stood out between them, especially with the weight it had against Serenity Dark Moon Raven's thigh. Dick Flippity moved over Serenity Dark Moon Raven's body like a serpent and lovingly nuzzled 
at a at a peaked abs. <laughs> abs with two B's. Surely Dark Moon Raven liked this a lot and started making a lot of noise. I assume like uh, Dick Flipley joined in. Ow! Ah! Mrah, ah. <laughs> Oh my god. It got pretty noisy from that point on. Both of them had a lot of fun and made a lot of noise. Sort of the Dark Moon Raven sounded like Rocket. Dick Flipley sounded like a herd of Harris on drugs. Mm. Herd, like hearing, and Harris, like Harris with an extra S, on drugs. They had, oh, a, yeah. lot of, they had a lot of me, 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 fun. My groinal area are hurting. Can we stop? Twelve times enough, surely, Dick Flippy said, pleading. No! More, more, more! said Sergeant Boston <laughs> with an apparently insatiable appetite. Because that's not how you spell it. Sorry about that, I got a little carried away, said Sergeant Dark Moon Raven. That's okay, I enjoyed it, said Dick Flippy, blushing in the way they always did. Tomorrow? Yes, said Dick Flippy. I'll bring some of my toys next time for us to play with, said Serenity Dark Moon Raven, and with that, they left the cloakroom and returned to the party. The ones that followed were fun, but eventually they broke up and became enemies. But they knew they were going to be fierce, and with and when they saw the armies of Tone Malone embezzling whatever that means before them, they <laughs> had to gather their courage to go forth. For God, Dick Flipley yelled. For science, Serenity Dark Moon Raven yelled. For loop! Tits Magoo ejaculated loudly, and then they all attacked. And it was a fine spectacle to behold. Ooh, they're doing such cool things, like BAM, and ZOOF, and POW! And then, <laughs> just when our heroes cannot take it anymore, they defeated Tone Below in the end! Oh my god, you stupid, stupid robots. <laughs> You'll love to hear it. God damn. It's always an adventure with that fucking robot. Oh man, what the hell? What a ride, boys. What a rush. It's beautiful. I, I would I would have loved to have heard more from Tits Magoo, but you know, me being the perfect author, Serenity Raven Darkwood the 17th or whatever, they, they didn't need to be in there. I guess not. Uh, that's what Robot has decided, and we shall succumb as we have to. That's what the robots want. So there you go, Robot. You get more robots in the show, and you didn't even have to be here. Yeah, yeah, I hope you're happy now. Tone, do we have more news? I think the news of the day is that we're we're done. No. Wait, yep, nope, there's the music. I hear it, I hear it. Okay, well then, in that case, Tone, we were two fat guys on the internet reading robot stories of great eroticism and confusion, and we are two fat guys on the internet being the best boys and having the greatest respectable program, and we're always probably, sadly, definitely, maybe going to be two fat guys on the internet, so... Go fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. But it beats watching two fat guys.